Hey, how's it going on guys? It's True Killer back with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my updated settings in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Let's get right into this. So guys, starting with control settings, you do want to keep looking version on standard because that's what everyone uses and you definitely don't want to be using inverted. Then the sensitivity, I have bumped it up to 8 from 7 and the ADS sensitivity is now 0.75. Controller vibration, I have that off now, as you guys know, a few months ago I did turn this off and it's definitely benefited me more when, than when I had it on. Auto mantle and auto sprint, you both want to keep off. Stick layout, I keep on default. Button layout, I play default because I have scuffs, so I use paddles, but I definitely recommend you guys trying out tactical or like something like bumper jumper. Now moving over to graphics, I have bumped my brightness from 70% to 100% just because of mainly Hacienda of a nighttime version of a map. It does help a lot with things like that, darker maps, helps you to see better. Now moving over to colorblind mode, I do keep this off. I know people put these on but you know I just prefer it off, it's, that's just preference really. Now moving over to audio, I'd have the master volume on 7 instead of 10 and that's because so I can hear people in the parties because I think 10 is too loud. But the best audio presets how you want to use is super crunch and that's because you can hear footsteps the loudest whilst using super crunch. So that's going to be it for my settings guys, they have changed quite a bit since the last time I showed you. But before I end the video I do want to show you guys some of my class up. so let's get right into this. I'm starting off with the ICR class help. I know I do use a lot of attachments on this gun. And that's because I use reflex, grip one and grip two, quick draw and FMJ. You can take FMJ off, but that's just preference. Then I use stim shot and scavenger. Now moving over to a cordite class, I've just recently made this. You guys seen this in my latest video if you did watch that. Then you'll know about this class help. Grip, rapid fire, extended mags. Stim shot, lightweight, gun ho and dexterity. It's probably the best class you can use for rushing purposes. Now moving over to a sword class up. If you guys like the sword, you'll definitely like this one. I use stock one and stock two, quick draw and fast mags with stim shot, dexterity and dead silence. This class up is so overpowered if you know how to use it right man. And I've definitely been using this in league play so much. Now moving over to a final class. I this is the Maddox class up. I use ELO. Quick draw one, quick draw two, stock with stim shot, scavenger, dexterity and dead silence. This class up is also a league play class up too. I've used this in league play but I do use the Sorg one more. That's just preference whether you prefer the Maddox or the Sorg. So that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope this video helped you and maybe you found some better settings for you. Don't copy my settings, just tweak yours a bit. If they work for you, they work for you. My sayings might not work for you, so you never know. With that being said, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn notifications on. Drop a like on a comment on the video if you did enjoy this one. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. You've been watching True Killer. Peace.